Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India last lecture of module 3 on human resource policies i am dr shoma sen gupta associate professor kamla nehru college university of delhi in this lecture we will cover the following topics formulation of hr policies role of hr department in for policy formulation essentials of sound human resource policies now the next topic is steps in formulation of human resource policies. The first step is identifying the need, why policies are required, in which areas policies are required that has to be identified. We have discussed different types of uh, HR policies or the scope of HR policies. Now you have to decide in which of those areas you require an HR policy, whether a say promotion policy, transfer policy, compensation policy, and if they are already already there, whether you have to review those HR policies or not, that has to be decided. Then the second is collection of information. From different sources, you have to collect data or information which will be helpful in taking decisions regarding selection of policy. So the data may be collected from within the organization or from outside the organization. So you have to do a lot of research to find out what all is required to be included in a particular policy. Then identifying the policy alternatives. As we have said that policies are nothing but plans. So you have to identify the uh, different types of uh, uh, alternatives uh, available uh, or, or policy alternatives available and for that and after that you have to evaluate them on the basis of certain criteria. Say uh, the budget, the time frame. That and also uh, to uh, for what purposes it should be, uh, whether it will be beneficial for the organization, for the employees, or for any other party. So that uh, on all those bases, you have to evaluate whether uh, they can be implemented or not. That you have to find out. Then selecting the best policy alternative a policy alternative which is feasible which will be acceptable to everybody which will meet the criteria of say budget time frame uh, implementability uh, we will select the best policy alternative now after that you have to get the approval of the top management also sometimes you have to get the approval of the trade union also because this policies are going to these policies are going to affect the employees and they may resist the policy but getting approval of top management is very important when then only a policy will be implemented in the organization. Then communicate the policy to the concerned people. Communicating through manuals uh, or maybe meetings. Uh, in meetings you can disclose or you in company manuals you can write down. In rule books you can write down and uh, you have to communicate uh, the policy to the concerned person. You have to generate acceptance also so that there are lesser resistance. Finally, the review of policy. After a certain period of time, you can review the policies as well. You can take feedback from different interested parties and find out what changes should be introduced in the now, policy. Sometimes the policies might be very difficult to implement or maybe facing lots of resistance because the employees are not liking it. So, or, or some uh, changes has happened in the environment, internal as well as external. And because of that, you may have to review the policy. The next topic is role of HR department in policy formulation. Now, we have seen that HR uh, department is heavily involved in um, uh, assisting and advising the top management and line managers in formulation of different HR policies. So the first uh, role is initiating policies for consideration by the 
top management all the research data gathering everything is done by the hr professionals they know why and uh, uh, they can find out why a policy is required and accordingly they will uh, advise the top management to look into it so they are the initiator the hr professionals are the initiator of policies then framing the policy for that again whatever information they have whatever research work they have uh, done on the basis of that they will come out with a concrete policy uh, and uh, they will communicate this to the top management then encouraging the line managers to adopt a sound policy this is again uh, one important uh, role played by the hr department that they advises the line managers what all should be included in a policy getting approval of the top management that is again done by the hr professionals generating consensus among different interested parties uh, is again done by the hr professionals and this is very important step otherwise it will be difficult to implement a policy because uh, the the uh, organization may uh, uh, face a lot of resistance from the uh, uh, employees or other interested parties so consensus has to be gained then implementation of policy so there are stages or steps to be taken to implement the policy so that it uh, generates uh, greater uh, acceptance then handling grievances uh, regarding the policies whatever grievances they are facing that has to be taken care of uh, uh, and uh, while reviewing the policies you have to take into consideration the grievances of the employees you have to settle the grievances as well as some uh, you have to explain them and if it is not possible if if you find that the, it is a genuine grievance then you can make changes in the uh, policy by reviewing the policies also the policies have to be reviewed as i told you when whenever the environment changes whenever there are changes or um, uh, uh, if the situation changes then you have to uh, review the policy so all this role is undertaken by the hr this last topic is essentials of sound human resource policies first uh, requirement is HR policies should contribute to the HR objectives so they should be consistent with them and it actually help in implementing or achieving the HR objectives then HR policy should be clear definite and easily understandable otherwise employees will see it with suspicion next is it should be written as far as possible it should be clearly written so that it can act as a guide uh, for future and people may refer to it time and again and it will not, not leave any anomalies also it should be as far as possible long lasting and stable that means too frequently changes should not uh, be made in the hr policies then but flexibility a little bit of flexibility is also important because the environment and circumstances changes and accordingly you have to introduce certain changes in the policy also uh, while implementing it cer certain level of flexibility should always be there then it should be just fair and equitable uh, you have to take care that you are not harming the interest of the interested parties so it should be just fairness and equitability will ensure lesser resistance and greater acceptance then the uh, policy should be reasonable achievable and capable of being executed uh, otherwise it will lead to frustration if it is not achievable continuing with the essentials of sound hr policy the next one is participation of interested parties while you are framing the policies it is always advisable that the interested party should be made a party to this decision of or post uh, procedure of framing the policy if they participate in it then implementation will be easier and it will face lesser uh, resistance and it will be accepted easily then encourage self development all policies should aim in at self development of employees it should meet the interest of all the parties if it is meeting the interest then it will be beneficial for them and they will accept it it should be consistent with the overall philosophy of the organization and finally all the policies should be based on facts and sound judgment so you have to do a research kind of a research and find out what is best for the different interested party and accordingly after doing all the 
uh, homework then you come out with a policy which is acceptable to everybody and you should not frame a policy just for the heck of it or uh, according to the whims and fancies of any of the manager so it should be based on facts and sound judgment now to summarize we can say that steps of formulation of hr policies include identifying the needs collection of information identifying the policy alternatives evaluating them selecting the best policy alternative getting approval communicating the policy and review of the policy hr department plays a significant role in hr uh, policy formulation then a sound hr policy should be clear definite written stable flexible easily understandable and reviewed periodically for the uh, for this chapter also you can refer to book by flipo by cb gupta as well as dale yoder thank you very much students